So Dave Asprey, if you don't know him, four times New York Times bestselling author. He runs an award-winning podcast. He sells his own line of bulletproof coffee and is known as the father of biohacking, which is apparently doing things to your body to try and live longer and live better. Asprey apparently lost 100 pounds and raised his IQ by 20 points through biohacking. On weekends, I'm somewhat of a reverse biohacker myself. Now, among the raving fans of Dave Asprey, there are also detractors that claim he might be just another online grifter that's selling snake oil. And just like Elon Musk, Asprey has no shortage of fanboys that come to passionately defend him from anyone questioning his methods or his integrity. Dave got into some trouble back in 2020. He was sent a warning letter from the FTC after making unsubstantiated health claims that included some related to hacking the coronavirus. Anyway, Dave's latest venture is a franchise that is apparently the world's first human upgrade trademark center, which you can own for an investment between 630 to just over a million dollars. Now, some of the offerings are AI adaptive bikes that allegedly deliver the benefits of a 40 minute long jog in 40 seconds of effort, motorized cheat exercise machines, and whole body vibration plates. Members can track their cell health, get a lymphatic detox massage, oxygen therapy, PEMF, and red light therapy. So whether you see this technology as groundbreaking or placebo effect is up to you, but in their defense, their online reviews are pretty much all five stars people are experiencing good results. So Upgrade Labs has apparently sold their first franchise. Their plan is to expand to over 100 locations by the end of 2022. Now, we don't have a lot of data on the brand because it is so new, but I've got some initial observations and I'll try to stay as neutral as possible. So first up, the positive. We're seeing franchises in this general space in the right environments they're doing well. So things like drip bars, cryotherapy, floating, and similar, we've seen franchise owners and brands making money, even despite the madness over the past couple of years that we've experienced. But monetary policy has been loose. Discretionary income uh, purchases, they were up over the past couple of years. Are we going to see this type of behavior continue as the economy contracts? I personally expect a slowdown in the optional services, the medical type therapy and pain control is less likely to suffer. That's more of a need than it is a want. Now, if you have a good location and you have a great demographic, you would think that either markets could do well. Now, a positive specific to Upgrade Labs, Asprey has an enormous following and fan base, and he's at the forefront of an emerging industry. That success could potentially pass over to individual franchise owners who are getting in at the ground level. Now, let's look at some concerns and hopefully constructive criticism. Now, when we take clients through the franchise research and acquisition process, we've got a complete diligence list that puts a brand under a magnifying glass, hence our logo. Now, we've not taken anyone through Upgrade Labs process yet, so I don't have a whole lot of data to share. But if you think a location might do well in your area, give us a call. We'll help you out with that. But here is my input based solely on first impressions. And you know what they say about first impressions. So I went over to Upgrade Labs website as of today, which is August 9th, 2022. This is literally front page copy taken from the very first page on their website. Become a franchise owner of the fitness and wellness center of the future. Now that's not terrible really, but it's sloppy writing. Doesn't make me confident to drop a million dollars. It gets worse than that. Are you ready to join that company that created biohacking? And again, this is just the front page as well. This next one is a huge nails across the backboard personal peeve for me because so many companies and websites do this, claiming that they have reoccurring revenue. Okay, let me straighten this out for everybody. Reoccurring means it happens sometimes. It happens infrequently. It's unpredictable. It might happen again or it might not. That is reoccurring. That's what it means. Recurring 
is a completely different word. That is regular and predictable ongoing revenue. That's usually the word people are looking for, but it's like there's an epidemic right now of people confusing those words. Now, reoccurring revenue might actually be accurate, but I'll expect that is not actually what they meant. So upgrade labs. If you want someone to drop a million bucks on a franchise, spend $50 on a copy editor. Now, some of you might say it's just errors on their website. It's not a huge deal. But as a general rule, we very often see a consistency of attention to detail going throughout entire organizations. Sloppy website often means sloppy systems and processes. It often means sloppy operations manual and sloppy overall company management. Now, this may or may not be the case with Upgrade Labs, and we openly invite them on for an interview here to tell us their side of the story. I did some more digging and I found that Upgrade Labs actually filed for bankruptcy in June of 2020. Now, is this a red flag? Obviously, yes, it is a red flag. Is it the end of the world? Not necessarily. Many companies use bankruptcy as a learning experience. They restructure and they come out stronger. It's very possible the pandemic threw a wrench into their business at that time and appears that the location is operating strongly as of 2022. Again, their reviews for this location mostly excellent with many clients suggesting their therapy has been quite helpful. How much money can you make with an Upgrade Labs? We don't know because they did not include an item 19 financial disclosure in their FTD. Again, it's not the end of the world, but most franchises that do have a strong financial story even just from a single flag flagship location, they're going to list some revenue data. In terms of what your fees are going to be, you're going to pay a 6% royalty, a 2% national brand fund contribution, an $850 a month tech fee. This is paid a monthly, apparently. I guess their lawyer is also against paying editors to check their copy too. And also 500 bucks a month for equipment subscription and 5% for local advertising. So you'll pay 13% of your gross overall revenue plus 1350 a month. Now, if you're making money, that's not necessarily outrageous, but they are at the higher end within this space when we compare them to some of the other brands. Now, if you've been following the channel here at all, you've seen us cover franchises that are what I call wine and cheese type of ideas. Now, I'm not suggesting Upgrade Labs is this type of franchise, but these brands happen when two tech bros or somebody is at a wine and cheese party. They're talking to somebody who knows a guy whose uncle's brother sold franchises and they made millions of dollars. And they say, dude, you should franchise that idea. It's so good. Now, they have no idea if it's franchisable. They don't know if the model is replicable. Often, they don't even know if the business itself is viable. No idea how to run a franchise. In some cases, they don't even care. They just want to sell tons of franchises and enjoy the big fees and the royalties. They get out there, they hire a franchise development company, they set up a website and they hard sell units telling people how rich they're gonna get if they buy one of these franchises. Now we covered the Burger Inn story a while ago, classic tale of woe. They sold hundreds of units under massive amounts of hype through the media and they eventually imploded with hundreds of people losing their money. I'll post that link up above for that. Now again, I'm absolutely not saying that is the case with Dave Asprey and Upgrade Labs. They may become the next McDonald's of biohacking. We just don't know. They may have great management in place, great franchise support, smooth operations, and the rest of it. But when we vet a franchise, we look for red flags, and they've got a few red flags out there. Now, if and when we take a candidate through the process, we're going to learn more. And if you're looking for a franchise, don't hesitate to call us directly. We'll help you vet that franchise. And that link is above. Let us know what you think of Dave Asprey, what you think of Upgrade Labs in the comments, and check out our playlists down below for more franchise and business content. Thanks for watching.